pottery has been manufactured and used in Egypt since early prehistory. Its use has ranged from the transportation and cooling of water, to the preparation and storage of food, to nesting holes in dovecots, and much more besides. While not so universal and fundamental as it once was, pottery production still thrives in today's Egypt and is particularly alive and well and living at three villages in the great oasis of the Fayum. Each of these three centres has its own story, its own look, its own style and its own techniques. At Komoshim, oversized planters are made for gardens and patios, including prodigious pots up to two and a half metres tall, which are built up in stages and fired in enormous kilns the size of small houses. At a Nesla, on the edge of a picturesque ravine, artisans have been making water pots for many generations. The spherical water pot known as the Bukla, unique to a Nesla, is hand-formed using an ancient hammer and anvil technique that likely dates back to before the pharaohs and is now not to be seen anywhere else in Egypt or perhaps anywhere in the world. At Tunis, overlooking the Fayum's Great Salt Lake, two Swiss potters opened a pottery school in 1990 which has taught several generations of local children the techniques of preparing the clay, shaping it by hand or on the wheel, and decorating, glazing and then firing it. Many of these students have grown up to establish their own workshops producing plates, bowls, teapots and more, decorated with scenes of rural life or coated in brilliant metallic glazes. Tunis pottery is now world famous and is sold as far away as Europe and America. From the giant pots of Komoshim, to the prehistoric techniques of Nazla, to the colourful products of Tunis, I heartily invite you to explore the very varied world of Fayum pottery.